Hello Aquarius, how are you my lovelies? Thank you for joining me. Uh, for those of you guys that are new, welcome. For those of you guys that have been with us for a while now, uh, welcome back. I want to wish you guys the very best in these holidays. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're doing good Aquarius. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020 in regards to love and romance. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be um, uploading a video that is going to um, speak about the uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that we're going to be experiencing at very close proximity in the uh, on December the 21st, 2020. Uh, that's when the uh, conjunction is going to happen. So I'm going to be uploading a video if you guys are interested to see how it's going to affect your sign. You guys definitely stay tuned for that. All right, Aquarius. Your first card here is the High Priestess. This is how you're viewing or seeing the situation with your partner or person of interest. The High Priestess definitely, I feel that for some of you guys, you are feeling like there is, um, there's certain things that you're not aware of or there is a desire to want to know more about this connection or this person that you're dealing with. Uh, if you guys are in a serious committed relationship, this could represent um, viewing the partner as a very spiritual person, perhaps very connected to the spirit realm, very intuitive uh, type of energy. Let's see how your partner is viewing you. Whoa, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so... For some of you guys, I feel that with the High Priestess, there's definitely a feeling of not knowing exactly what's going on. It's like a feeling of there's things that are happening behind the scenes that you are not really sure of what's going on. Uh, if you're dealing with no communication right now or like the person has pulled away, uh, it could be because they're seeing this relationship as a no-go. With the Ten of Swords, it's like they've emotionally checked out of this connection Um or they're no longer willing to put effort in this connection. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with some type of separation or some type of ending here. Um, now, your next card here is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so I see you guys being uh, very stressed, dealing with a lot of anxiousness, a lot of worry. Um, what they're telling me here is, for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, you're ending a cycle here uh, with the Ten of Swords. I feel that this has more to do with the energies that you have been dealing with in the past. A High Priestess is the all-knowing. Um, but it's almost like the High Priestess only speaks when it's necessary. Um, and she's very aware of what is happening. But like I said, it's almost like... She only speaks when it is necessary, and I feel that at this point you're going into a cycle in your life where a lot of karmic debt is being released or uh, is being, you know, transmutated into positive energy. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, though, I see you very much in your head. For some of you guys, this could be fear of not finding um, an, a partner that you feel emotionally connected to. Uh, Almost a feeling like, will I ever find uh, love in this tarot? If you can see here, uh, the woman is all in black, but right at the center, there is a rose. So there is darkness or feeling sadness, feeling maybe even depressed. Um, but there is hope there and there is hope that represents love. So there is love around you. Um, again, with the Ten of Swords, I feel that for some of you guys, this could be the ending karmic cycle for you guys. Now, for others of you that are in a connection, um, like I said, there's almost a feeling like a lot of anxiousness or worry here. Uh, with the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords, though, this is like Spirit telling you, what is it that what is it that you fear, Aquarius? What is it that is really getting under your skin? Because I feel like you're very bothered and you're very consumed with this like unhappy type of energy. But the high priestess is the elevation of consciousness, right? So it's like spirit telling you, why are you so fixated in trying to find uh, happiness with others? Are you working on yourself? Are you making yourself happy? 
because I feel that with the Ten of Swords, there's some toxic trait here, you guys. I'm going to be honest. Okay, the next card, uh, here's the Three of Cups. Some of you guys, it could have been a relationship that ended. could have been because the partner stepped out of the relationship. Uh, it could be because they're entertaining other people at the present time. Um, but again, we go back to that of some type of behavior. And we're talking about like a state of mind behavior. Um, that they are, you know, speaking about here. Because we have the moon here, right? And with every with every card in the deck where there is a moon, it's a representation of hidden things or hidden knowledge that will come to light when the sun shines on it. You know what I'm saying? So, and this, these are your cards, Aquarius. So I feel that there is some type of something that you keep holding on to or you keep repeating some type of cycle here. And what they're telling you is, you need to raise your vibration or you need to raise your consciousness to to the point that you're no longer self-damaging or self-harming yourself by the way you think. I hope that makes sense. For some of you guys, it could be in the past. If you've been single for quite a while, you've been holding on to hurt and pain that you dealt with um, years ago. You know, and what they're telling you here is, you may feel like you're not finding someone to connect with, but it's not that. It's just that you're not emotionally ready yet. So working on yourself or acknowledging certain toxic patterns or behaviors that we have a tendency of doing, you know, it's kind of like that saying, if you keep repeating a cycle, it just means you didn't get it. <laughs> That's what it is. So again, uh, what they're saying here is for some of you guys, there's ending cycles of karmic debt or things that you've done in the past in relationships that you're becoming aware of and you're outgrowing that. So for some of you that have been single for quite a while with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups, there's an ending cycle and finally you start getting attention or you start seeing people or connecting even uh, with people that spark your interest. But again, Acknowledge those toxic traits. Your next card is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so there's there's a new beginning for you, Aquarians. Uh, whether you were in a relationship and there was an ending here, um, whether it was because it was a third-party situation or whether it was because they pulled away uh, because they felt like uh, this was bringing out the worst in you guys, whether it was you or them. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, there's definitely a new beginning here. For some, it could represent um, a new person sparking you your interest, Aquarius. <coughs> the moon. That's exactly what I was seeing right here with the High Priestess. Um Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you have been dealing with the person and all of a sudden they kind of pulled away, they're entertaining other people. That's what it is. There was something within you or perhaps they felt like there was, which I find it very odd because I know Aquarians have a tendency of needing to like distance and your freedom. Um, but there is a feeling of like some something where you were coming off as extremely strong. Uh, it could be strong or it could be needy. Um, and they found opportunities elsewhere. And that's where they're entertaining that. With the moon card, they weren't forthcoming. They weren't straight to the point. They weren't, they were being on that sneaky bullshit. Uh, with the ace of wands here, though, I do feel that there's going to be news coming to you that is going to be coming very quickly in the month of December. And it could have something to do with what this moon is hiding. The full card. Okay. I'm getting a lot of messages with this full card. And the three of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So what they're showing me here is um, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I definitely see transformative energy in regards to 
uh, knowing what our toxic behaviors are and becoming aware of that, which is a good thing because it represents growth. It represents that you're acknowledging, that you're understanding uh, and that you're able to release that. You're letting that go with the Ten of Swords here. Uh, being able to learn to be more playful, to be more, um, to have fun when it comes with dating. A lot of people go into dating, you know, I'm going to find my husband, my future husband or my future wife. Um, and your expectations are so high. So when you get to know the person, you come to reality, right? The more you get to know them, for some of you guys, it, that could be one of your toxic traits that you expect people to be so like up there, you know, when it comes to your expectations. And then you get to know them and you realize like, oh, no, this is not going to work out because, you know, uh, their aesthetics is not the same as what I would want. Um, they're not as, you know, interesting. They're not as motivated. They're not, you know, they're, they're, they're too easy to read. And I get bored with the moon card and the three of pentacles and I start looking around. For some of you guys, it could be that. For others, uh, this is definitely a situation where there was a third party or they stepped out and they're dealing with other people. All the while, you're over here wondering what the heck went wrong. Uh, there is definitely clarity coming your way. There is um, news that's coming with the three of pentacles here and the full card, you know. The full card is going on a new path, but it also represents when you continue repeating a cycle over and over and over. Um, what that means is that you're not learning that lesson. So you're going to continue, even if it's different people, you're going to continue dealing with the same energy until you learn from that. With the full card, they're telling you, Aquarius, Stop making the same mistakes over and over, expecting a different outcome. Now, for some of you guys, the full card can also represent that of the spirit of, you know, innocence. That of naivety. And not in a good way, you guys. Let's see what spirit's direct message is in regards to this situation, spirits. Please give me a specific card to represent the message directed to Aquarius in regards to this situation. Okay, we have too many. Specific message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. to this current situation that we're seeing here. Okay. Hostilities. <sighs> Are you being defensive about love, Aquarius? Did you give it your all in your previous relationship? Yeah, you were hurt. You went through it. But there's a new beginning coming in for you here with the Ace of Wands. This is new passion. You love the full cart, taking a new path. You've dealt with people in the past that perhaps have taken you for granted. Perhaps they didn't uh, really see the effort and energy that you put into it. Perhaps for some of you guys being cheated on and you're very defensive about that you're very defensive about what you've been through and you're holding on to this sword to protect yourself to protect yourself from harm but you're also protecting yourself from love because you're pushing people away or you're running away from connections because you're not wanting to deal with the fact That it's not the same person that you need to heal. And that's exactly what's going to happen in the month of December. There's going to be a lot of self-awareness. There's going to be a lot of self-responsibility. And maybe even like really thinking about relationships. And I think I've been seeing this for Aquarians for quite a couple of months now. You got to put the sword down. 
you can't expect people, if you push people away, you can't expect people to not walk away. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you can't keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them and thinking that they're going to keep coming back just to show you how much they care. They're going to walk the fuck away. Now, if you're the type that gets into a relationship in the moment that they start, you know, showing you that you're not 100% in control of the situation of the person or relationship, you become very aggressive. That's a toxic behavior. And you become hostile. You become nasty. And it's coming out of fear from past experiences. Now, if you're dealing with the person that stepped out of the relationship and you're still dealing with them because you want to salvage the relationship, there is no point in salvaging anything when there's hostilities here. You guys are going to continuously keep bringing out the worst in each other. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this gives you some type of insight. I want to wish you guys the best of holidays and uh, we'll see each other soon. Bye.